tell us about the hazards of working with animals at PetSmart. Absolutely. So in, in August, you see Moist Andy. Moist Andy knows best. I, I had to get up out of that place because when, when I was working for PetSmart, like I was like the janitor person. Uh, I was doing all the sweeping. I was mopping up all the mess and cleaning the rodent cages and the, the bird cage. Oh my God, like when the, the sawdust mixed with the bird feces come up in my nose, I had to call sick because I was just a mess. Like I, I had a just a pounding headache and and I, I felt nauseous. Like I caught some kind of like bird rabies. But you know, I, I've been bit by so many rats. I don't know how I didn't get rabies like that. Cause like it was, it was bloody sometimes. It, it was like, I, I felt very, uh, very like, yeah, I was, I was being used in that place. They, they just used me like a tissue. I was, I, I mean, they just threw me away. I couldn't keep working there ultimately cause, cause they just wouldn't even let me like, uh, I, I couldn't even sleep more than six hours. They, they would just call me in there to stock the shelves in the morning and to, to close at night. And I would end up having to drive from Tyson's Corner all the way to Springfield in, in a big hurry, a big panic. I was like, wow, man, I, I might get in a traffic accident. Like, I mean, one time I remember I was like veering off the road because I was just falling asleep. Good thing it was like four in the morning though. So yeah, I'm never doing that again. Um, it, it was nice having the, the little bit of extra pay, two jobs, but like that's not worth it, man. I'm, I'm happy just making enough money to, to like get groceries. So yeah. I go to McDonald's a lot and I'm just disgusted at how poorly McDonald's pay their employees. And probably a lot of people there gotta get a second job because they won't even put them on full time. And even if they put them on full time, these people would be under so much stress and not making enough money. They, the, they only decided to start paying McDon 90,000 McDonald's employees over $10 an hour in like 2016. $10 an hour? So around here, that's nowhere close to have your, enough to have your own place. So you're working a hard, stressful job. And I've seen several McDonald's employees have their kids hang out there. So that means McDonald's isn't paying enough for a babysitter daycare. Now they should be ashamed of themselves. Their CEO made $15 million in compensation in like 2017. Yeah. So it's not that they don't have enough money. They just don't want to. And I was just thinking how shameful that is. I, I would still rather work at a place like that than PetSmart though. Because yeah. it's like it's paid the same amount. But you know what I would have to end up doing is I get down on my knees. I, w I would be like with the push brew like under the, the aisles where where they had like the dog treats and the collars and shit. And I was like pushing the dog for under the aisles because nobody else would do it. And and then the, the manager come up with his fat ass and like bend down and say, oh, you, you left all this down in this end and, and the dogs sniff it and they pee there all the time. And I was like, man, why, why can't someone else do this? Like, like, uh, they a lot of times they didn't even supply latex gloves because like the the animal hospital in there was using it up like I, I had to do that shit with my bare hands man I can't do that That's too too cheap to get latex gloves for the employees I don't want to catch any diseases unbelievable well it's not at least we're out here out in the open look at this how close I am to the precipice right here you're a little further back but not much just, just there to there and now you you I guess you're carefree you don't have to work at PetSmart yeah I, I get to come out here and, and enjoy like nature uh, and, and get away from capitalism for a little bit yeah I get four days off every week oh wow yeah, I'm not ashamed to admit I'm I'm not gonna like go looking. I'm not I'm not searching for jobs right now because I'm locked in. I get paychecks every week. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the geese. How free they are out here. Yeah. The sounds they make. It, they're they're just having a good time. Yeah. They're like everybody can hear me. I don't care. There there's uh, plenty of fish. 
in this lake. I didn't even think fish would live here. It's so much pollution, but yeah, that's that's not good. That I saw one jumping earlier. Really? Do people fish out here? Yeah. I remember like maybe 15 years ago, I might have come out here like for a summer camp or something, but it, it, it's like I'm biking down here and it's so familiar. Yeah, like I've never even been through here before, I don't think. Huh. So like I just follow the, the, the stream, go downstream and ends up at the lake. Wow. Yeah. Just follow the stream. I think that's a metaphor for life. Don't fight the current. Just go downstream and you might bump into a few rocks or something, but, and you know, roll over a few logs, but you'll get to where you need to go. It's all part of, you're, you're making the right path. Grab onto a twig, it breaks off. What a view out here, look at that. That's what we see right now. Who knows how long this will be around. If companies like PetSmart have their way We'll keep polluting and destroying all this uh, vegetation and greenery. Oh yeah, I, I, I can see right now that they, they would probably just, um, you know, use, use all this for paper mills and, and, right. and plywood and uh, gather all the, the wood, make, make some, s some construction. And, yeah, yeah they, they, they just get rid of all the habitatualism. Yeah. The, the birds and the squirrel. Yeah, there's no money in this for them. Yeah. Well, thank you, Moist Andy. Is there like a water fountain over there? 